us. Do we want to try Mark or Canfield? Again, Mark? Can you hear me? We can, thank you. I'm Mark Taylor Cantor, Executive Director for Democracy Watch News, an international news organization covering pro-democracy movements around the world. This is an historic moment. I've been covering this issue since the World Trade Organization 20 years ago. I've been subjected to tear gas and pepper spray as a reporter. Let's be clear. This is a major civil rights issue. Too often we've seen these weapons used in an attempt to stop stop legitimate protests by people practicing peaceful civil disobedience. These le weapons are potentially lethal. They've been used at times to stifle political dissent, and they've harmed residents of the neighborhoods and bystanders who had nothing to do with protests. Please decide once and for all, is this a real move to ban these weapons or only a half-hearted political gesture? I don't buy former Chief Best warnings that without these devices, his only response is to use lethal weapons. Fifteen people were arrested on MLK Day, and no chemical weapons or crowd control devices were used. Thank you, Mark. That concludes public comment for the Public Safety and Human Services Committee.